choose your heart yes choose your heart i always say choose your heart and it's it's a quote that's um, kind of uh, many people have used it's not just me um you have to choose your heart and what does it mean it means you have to find hard things to do like deliberately look for them life you know in case it's not obvious to you already life is incredibly hard in fact life is meant to be hard and sometimes that is not so obvious but how how is life meant to be hard why is it meant to be hard you know you you see instagram and people are giving out this chill out vibes and 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 you and it's almost like people are saying like why can't we all live a simple comfortable life you know just have lesser desires and lesser expectations and and do less work because then you don't have a big ambition and then you should be okay all right if you don't have a big ambition you don't have to do that much hard work them just just do the bare minimum you need to get by do the bare minimum you need to get by pay your bills and then spend the rest of your life chilling watching tv instagram reels movies ott or whatever other form of entertainment instead of striving grinding hustling call all these things toxic and just instead of all this just chill with friends order some snacks some pizza ice cream enjoy life you know hashtag #indulge i mean what what is wrong with motivational speakers like me urging everybody to work hard what is wrong with me what is this toxicity in me i'm telling people to do work hard do hard things and now i'm telling people to actually not only do hard work when it comes to you but actually choose your hard mean go out there and look for hard things to do people can argue back they can say i don't want to choose my hard i don't want to choose my hard i don't want to choose any hard i just want a soft easy anxiety and stress free life except here's the problem with that approach such a life doesn't exist not for you not for me it doesn't even exist for the rich people and trust me i've met some of the richest people on earth the soft and easy life doesn't exist for actors sports people famous people people in positions of power no it doesn't exist the soft and happy life is 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 one big lie you see it in advertisements you see it in some instagram reels but it doesn't exist on a 24 hour basis so here's the thing if you avoid work if you choose a life of comfort let's say you have got a way to pay your bills you figured that out or you you've got a big inheritance or something and you choose a life of comfort you will still not feel good not after a while you may feel good initially but after a while you will not feel good surrounding yourself with comfort and pleasure may take the hard away for a while but then the bill will come of living a life without anything hard and the bill is that your brain will get used to the entertainment all that tv movies ott it won't be fun anymore it'll bore you sitting around all day doing nothing will also become boring eating and drinking all the time will take the joy away from these things not to mention the impact on your health your body will become weak maybe even overweight and sick the only way to prevent all this will be to exercise and so welcome to hard exercise is hard there you go you wanted to avoid that being weak or overweight or sick then you have to do hard things you have to exercise you'll have to regulate your food if you don't want to go crazy another hard thing you will have 
to find better things to do with your time once your usual methods of entertainment get boring you'll have to be productive another hard so you see even people who don't really have to do hard things like they don't have to do it to pay the bills people who have the choice to laze around sit eat and watch a screen they end up feeling horrible if they live exactly like that that's why you see billionaires still working damn hard actually sometimes harder than all of us for if they don't they will have a terrible life but most of us are not billionaires we have to work hard even to avoid other problems in life for if you don't work hard to get a good job you will get another hard thing in life later you will get a life of mediocrity and poverty if you waste your time now and don't study you will have to deal with something hard later seeing all your friends doing better than you in life nature didn't design the world to be easy it didn't nature didn't make a hotel called earth where all of us could check in and chill in our rooms watching tv and ordering room service for dinner i mean if nature can do all those amazing things it has done it could have done that too but it didn't instead nature wanted us to compete that's in the design of all living things we have to compete in the animal kingdom birds reptiles insects ants work damn hard even ants have to work hard mammals and of course human beings this competition the survival of the fittest that's how we make sure the best survive and the best genes go forward a species gets stronger and for that to survive to compete we need to do hard things that's the very meaning of competition that's the very many meaning of survival to do that to compete we need to work hard live hard and aim to be better and if you want to be better you have to work hard to be better right aim to be better all the time if we don't choose our hard some hard will choose you and that's not nice better we choose it right for yeah it, it is hard to study and do well but it's also hard to fail it's also hard to be mediocre it is hard to go to the gym but it's also hard to have health problems medication for life death scares weakness it is hard to go on a diet but it's also hard to be fat sick and nearly dead so my friend you have to choose your hard and then go for it it's the only way to be in life choose your hard